Well, hello guys. What is up? My name is RipperX. We are venturing off into Salem today. Uh, now, Salem is published by Paradox Interactive and made and developed by Sea Tribe. So we're going to jump into the game today. Again, this is the crafting MMO that does feature open world PvP and permadeath. So this is going to be interesting. Uh, I'm a complete noob. This is the first time I've even touched the game. Um, so again, I'm going to noob it up for you guys, and hopefully we can kind of venture forth and kind of see what Salem's all about. So let's, uh, let's log in real quick. Again, right now Salem is in beta, so uh, I believe it will be released Q3 2012. It should be released uh, this year, obviously. Well, it begins. Come talk to me, Pilgrim. Okay, so I'm going to do that real quick. It also says, I need your name before you can depart, and let me out. Wow, <laughs> I am totally uh, butt naked, but that's okay. I don't mind. I'm used to that. Blast me barnacles, he says. I'm going to try to uh, maybe create a name here. Ooh, he says he doesn't talk to kids. Well, is that a kid? I don't think so. I am a total gangster. I, I don't know why I have blonde hair, though. That's kind of weird. Hopefully I can I can change that. Uh, there's a couple ways to move around. W-A-S-D. Or again, you can use uh, your mouse to click around as well. On a good note, it looks like I uh, have some free clothes to, to begin with, which is nice. I don't know if I'd want to be naked the whole time, so we got some clothes to start with. Well, uh, it would probably be under E, Equipment tabs. So let's uh, quickly take a look at what our uh, interface is all about. We have an Inventory tab. We have the Equipment tab, which I just pulled up. Control E will bring it up as a shortcut. Uh, studying. Looks like this is going to be where our skills are at. Again, you can put your skills into a variety of different things. Looks pretty cool. Um, we'll look, you know, go into that a little bit more later. Uh, buddy list, again, uh, completely alone right now. No one uh, is my friend. That's okay. And uh, town. Let's hit town real quick. Okay, nothing happened. And uh, options. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, that's either shadows or no shadows. I like the shadow, so we'll go ahead and leave that. A little mini-map on the bottom left as well. Display personal claims. Okay. And uh, display town claims. Again, I have no personal claims or town claims. Let me see if I can equip my uh, my guy real quick. So I'm just uh, essentially dragging it and cl left clicking it on uh, my character, and it just kind of loads him up right away. Yay! Wow! All right, my guy looks great. Much better. Uh, much better. All right, on the very top middle of the screen, we have looks like our life. There's a bunch of stuff here. Blood, uh, fell gem, yellow bile, and black bile. Okay, that's interesting. It says uh, you need to swim. You need to learn swimming before you can cross deep water. Uh, this is going to be fun. It seems like everything in this game you're going to need to learn skills for. Okay, well, um, I'm a, a little bit lost here. <laughs> I know we just started, but uh, there's really nowhere to exit. So uh, when I went and talked to this guy, he said I needed to grow up before I can leave. Before you can depart, you can use the objects on the Old World dock site to create your character. Once you're happy about the choices you've made, right-click on the ship to depart to the New World. Let's talk to this guy, uh, get a name, and head to the New World. I want to craft some stuff. All right. Awesome. Well, we made it. We're out of the starting area. We are in, uh, I guess, a new city of Boston. Boston, ah, Boston. Boston is the budding hub at the center of the vast colonial frontier of Salem's New England. All new characters start here. And as soon as you have a homestead, you can instantly travel to here from your homestead and back at any time to buy and sell items. Okay, well, this guy is offering to lead me into the wild yonder. I don't think I have 30 silver. Let me just double check real quick. Um, can I put on my debit card? Nope, that's a no-go. Okay. Wow, I can really zoom in a lot. More than I expected, actually. That's pretty cool. Very cool. That's awesome. I actually I didn't realize how far you can zoom in and zoom out. That's great. Um, again, that's going to cater to a lot of different play styles as well. The smooth stone is uh, one of the first things you're going to want to look for once you're out of Boston, once you kind of wander away from the city of Boston. As a new player, once you first get there, there's really not a lot of stuff you can do there. It's basically set up for players that um, have more skills. Uh, now, how do you get skills? This is the first thing I was, I was trying to figure out, and I just realized... Uh, the smooth stone is one way to get this skill. Now, if I right-click on the smooth stone, e even if I just hover over, my proficiencies, uh, some of these things are going to be highlighted. Frontier and wilderness is almost going to be maxed out. Uh, we have mines and mountains, hunting and gathering. What I need to do is I need to try to get my uh, survival skills. Before I do anything, I need some survival skills. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on the smooth stone, and I'm going to hit study. Now, it's going to essentially study the smooth stone, and that's going to bring my proficiencies up uh, slowly. I believe berries I can actually eat. Um, it does. It heals. So if, if you look at that, it says heals 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 2.5. That means that it's going to heal uh, what I have up here. 
Okay, so uh, my quest is to really find a couple more smooth stones, and once I can get my survival skill, um, you know, ready to go, ready to actually use, I think we can start to build some stuff from there. Okay, so it was purchased. I officially purchased survival skills. Now, as you can see, um, a couple things just happened. My proficiencies just went back to zero. I have to relearn some stuff. If you invest into these named skills, it's going to reset your proficiencies. I'm a super noob, I don't know the details, but as far as I know, when you do learn a name skill, you lose uh, your proficiencies, you have to kind of start again. On a good note, I just uh, learned survival skills, which means that the first thing I should do is kind of take a look around the world. I'm probably going to be able to click on things that I wasn't able to click on before. So let's click on a tree and see if I can actually take a branch. I know that's important. Yes! Oh, awesome. So I'm able to pick a branch. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, I don't know how many branches I'm picking. Let's uh, double check in my inventory. Whoa! Okay, uh, that's a lot of branches. I don't think I need that many, but I know uh, one thing I was told is flint plus a branch equals an axe. Oh, I just, uh, it looks like I have build as well, so I can actually start building stuff. Let's click on build and see what we have. A pile of wood! <laughs> Again, it doesn't sound like a lot, but everything you do in this game, uh, you gain skills from it. Alright, clothing, equipment, and weapons. Obviously, that's going to be good, important. Uh, we have food. Inspirationals, which we had before. Miscellaneous tools. Awesome. And uh, processing and materials. Very cool. So let's go into each one and see kind of what we have to, to work with here. Okay, under weapons and tools, we have tools and weapons. I have a torch. Okay, to make a torch, oh boy, I'm going to need sharpened stick, Andy Tinder, and it's obviously going to make it. So I don't have, an, again, I don't have enough to make a torch right now, but in the near future I will. Under food we have meat and game, f uh, forage and free range, cool. Inspirationals, anything new, uh, ooh, captivating flame, okay, same, kind of the same stuff. Miscellaneous tools, tender... Tinder Drill is a lighting item which can be used to light objects and items such as fires, ovens, and torches. It's good to know for future. Uh, processing the materials, hay. Okay. Uh, again, the first thing that anyone should do in this game, once you are out of Boston, look for a smooth stone. Once you get a smooth stone, you can study that stone, and you can get to the point where you can actually have survival skills, and that's where we are currently at. I would love to learn foraging, um, fishing down the road as well. Forge, I'm going to need more uh, frontier and wilderness, as well as mines. Let's see if I can, again, make a wood pile. Uh, all I do is left-click in my inventory, I click it into here. And do that until it looks like I have one more to go. Awesome. Here we go. Let's build it. Uh, fishing is going to be, uh, I think, a long ways off. Um, again, if a skill down here under available is white, you are able to purchase it. Um, again, if it's not white, I don't believe you are able to purchase it. Uh, the skills that we currently have are two things. We have uh, survival skills and childish things. So we do have a couple more things to, to get here. Um, that's kind of my goal. I'm going to venture away um, from Boston. Baston. Baston. I'm going to venture away. Is that a rock? Oh, that's not a rock. I'm going to venture away and just kind of uh, maybe hang tight to the river here. Maybe see if we can find some items. Oh, there's uh, some grass. So let's pick up some grass. I think uh, one or two more pieces of grass and we can actually make some hay. Again, just for the record, this game is not one of those games you jump into and expect to uh, conquer within the hour. This game takes a while uh, to play. It's very in-depth. Uh, one of the goals is to eventually get to the point where you have enough skills uh, where you can build a settlement. You can build um, some kind of co colonial masterpiece, whether it's a farm or, or a homestead or whatever. And once you're at that point, you can start to get advanced skills, and then uh, you can obviously start to venture into combat, whether the combat is hunting wildlife or hunting players. Uh, again, there are consequences to PvP, but there is PvP in the game, and there is permadeath, so... Again, it makes it very interesting. The rule set that the developers implemented in this is just pretty cool. But first and foremost, this game is a crafting MMO, and it is a very detailed crafting MMO. Again, I just am touching the tip of the iceberg. The tip of the iceberg led us here. So I am uh, as new of a player as you are. Trust me, I've only been in this game very, very briefly. I am learning as we go along here. I hope all these little things help you guys, though. And I know the game will be released this year. Pretty sure there are keys available for Salem. If you look hard enough, you can probably find some as well. Uh, it is still in closed beta, but they are giving away keys here and there. So again, stay tuned. If you are interested, I would definitely recommend checking out the Paradox forms. Also, check out Salem. And definitely check out MMORPG.com. We might be giving away some Salem keys in the near future. So stay tuned on that front. 
So hitting craft all just automatically takes from my inventory. I just created some hay. Again, I don't know exactly what that just did. Um, I don't know if that like added to my skills. Every time you craft something, I believe it does add to your skills a little bit, or I could be completely wrong, and it did, obviously it didn't add to my proficiencies. But I do have some hay. Oh, 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 check this out. It looks like I can actually study this uh, stray chestnut. As you can see, if you hover your mouse, mouse over it, mass over it, uh, some of these things kind of go, wow, hunting and gathering, that goes up a lot. Um, wow, I just learned something new. So let's right click and hit study. Oh, that is so cool. I thought it was only a smooth stone, but it looks like there's different items that you can pick up that actually help you gain proficiencies. Because of this, I'm uh, hopefully going to be able to maybe, maybe get foraging. Now, I, I don't believe we're ready to go back to Boston yet, and I know that, uh, again, once you get 20 silver or 30 silver, there'll be some, some lads that will you know, take you away to the wilderness randomly, and, and you can kind of build your own settlement. Again, we're not there yet. Uh, the key, uh, as a beginning player in this game, I've realized, is just to, to kind of venture, uh, you know, once you're in, the, in Boston, kind of just venture outside of Boston, like I'm doing right now, kind of wander about, and uh, again, look for stuff to pick up, and, and try to get your basic skills up. Again, survival skills is, is incredibly important, uh, but it looks like we have some other skills as well. Trying to get some money, or trying to build some kind of homestead, but the fact that I've actually kind of figured out what to do, I have a mission now. And, and that's, the, I think, the biggest thing in this game, figuring out the basics. And again, it doesn't have the easiest learning curve, but my goodness, this game is in-depth and a lot of fun. I am excited to get going on the crafting side. I am very excited to maybe, uh, you know, get my farm up and running. I want to start, uh, you know, getting wood and, and, and getting different items and uh, having a nice home base. I think having a home base is important in this game. Awesome. Well, hey guys, thanks again uh, for tuning in. My name is Ripper X. Uh, this is my first impressions of the beta of Salem. Now, Salem will be coming out Q3 2012, so keep an eye on it. If you are really, really interested in this game and you want to try to get into the beta, uh, I have a feeling uh, MMORBG.com might be giving away some keys, as well as possibly Paradox. So just keep, keep an eye out, or definitely sign up as well. I believe you can sign up uh, to get a beta key. Salem will be free to play. Again, this game is just incredibly in-depth and a lot of fun. I cannot wait to get started on a town, on a homestead, on a home base. And again, don't try to attack me. I will kill you. Okay, guys. Uh, Ripper X signing off. I will see you soon. Peace.